So this video will show how to use a macro uh, provided by Mark Petrata, one of my colleagues, to extract the ID for a diagram and embed it into a template that can then be run with the uh, Magic Draw report wizard uh, to generate, say, a weekly report with a certain set of diagrams. So first thing we need to do is go ahead and uh, include the macro, which we'll do here. We'll go to Organize Macros and add it. Now this happens to be a bean shell macro. And we'll call this get ID. Go ahead and select the file, uh, which is get ID.bsh, and I will save this to uh, the showmethewow.com website. We'll add this to the model, and we'll say it extracts And I normally don't bother assigning a shortcut key, but you could. So we'll go ahead and do that. So this is now embedding that uh, into the um, model. So we go ahead and we select our diagram in the containment tree. This is for FIRST Robotics last year. I just had it as an example model. And we'll go ahead and we'll run the macro. So we'll run get ID. And down here we have this VTL fragment. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll paste it here into the, um, the PowerPoint slide. We'll go ahead and save this. Now that we have the PowerPoint file ready, we can add this to our um, reports. So we'll go ahead and make a new one. We'll call this a weekly PowerPoint. And it wants the file. And we'll go ahead and do the example slide PVTX and give it a category if we want and create it. And now it's available for us. So when we're ready to run this, we just pick it and say next. Now uh, what data to use, we'll say default. Uh, you could set some variables here. Um, we'll include the whole model and we'll say next. We want the, the output file name. Uh, we can say what format we want our images to be in, and uh, you we, and we'll just say generate. And so this is the output. Uh, it's generated the document uh, or the, the PowerPoint in this case with the embedded um, diagram as requested. Uh, and at this point, uh, it will be ready for presentation. So a little bit of resizing was necessary uh, to get that right. Uh, so you can resize. Uh, the uh, some some aspects of the embedded uh, content so that every time Magic Try executes it, it comes out correctly. But hope you find this useful. And again, thanks to Mark Petrata for sharing his bean shell macro with the wider Magic Draw community. If you have something you'd care to contribute, feel free to reach out to me through the Systems Architecture Guild website at showmethewow.com. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.